this video shows the Gravel Graph IS400 and um, this is the type of tool we will use to engrave into this composite uh, archery bow limb. Uh, this tool is a single flute carbide conical end mill. It has a 30 degree side angle and a 25 thousandths tip off on the bottom of the tool. Uh, when we put this in the machine, we have a micrometer dial at the bottom, which we have adjusted so that when it is on zero here, the tip of the tool is just barely coming flush even with the bottom of the nose. To show you the principles behind how we will engrave on a curved surface, uh, we'll take the cutting tool out so you can observe what happens with this spring-loaded spindle and this narrow depth nose following the curvature of the part. Well, there's no cutting tool in there now, so it's not going to be engraving anything, but it will show you the process. This is a spring which you can adjust for pressure with this black collar. And the spring pushes down on the spindle. You'll notice that the uh, tip of the nozzle is floating along the surface of the bow limb. Now what we'll do is we'll put the tool in and we'll adjust the depth from zero up to about seven thousandths of an inch. Now we can feel the tool sticking out the bottom slightly. We know it's sticking out seven thousandths because we set this dial on zero and adjusted the tool so that it was flush even with the bottom of the nozzle when it's on zero and each mark is one one thousandth of an inch and change in depth. So we'll be running this at about 10,000 RPM. We can go all the way up to 20. We may adjust that depending on the cut we get. We also have a vacuum chip collector system that will suck the chips out of the spindle. Now if we take a close look at this, zoom in a little bit here, we have done the engraving along this curvature multiple times so you can see that you'll get a consistent depth of cut uh, even though the surface may not be in the same plane that the uh, spindle is moving. Uh, here I have a vernier caliper. If we measure the depth of that, it measures about four thousandths of an inch uh, depth off this uh, ground down point on the calipers to uh, give us an approximate idea of the depth. If we want to go deeper, we can just increase the micrometer setting up to 10 and run the job again. You'll notice as it progresses up the curvature, the amount of spring pressure here will increase and the, the nozzle will float along the surface of the limb and give us a pretty consistent depth. If we want to go deeper, we can set it up to 15,000 and run it one more time. We don't have to make these small incremental steps. 
we could probably set it right at the desired depth and it should uh, it should give us a good result. measure the depth there we're getting about 14 thousandths depth uh, and the engraving looks clean pretty consistent and uh, I think it would be a good application for the IS 400 uh, and my name is Bruce I'm with Machine Tools West uh, our number is 801-558-1151 thank you